Australia is no stranger to introduced animals. Brought here since colonisation, around 80 introduced animal species have established wild populations on mainland Australia. These include wild species such as the rabbit and fox and domestic like cats and pigs. Brought by early European settlers as a food source, the pigs were allowed to roam freely, leading to the escape of some and the beginning of the tens of millions that are now spread across the continent. Since becoming wild, they have caused major destruction to Australian environments. They compete with livestock for pasture and drought feed, leaving animals such as cattle with little grass to graze on. Up to 32% of newborn lambs have been lost in a single year due to predation by feral pigs. They spread weeds and pathogens throughout paddocks and the environment. They also destroy fences and water holes used on agricultural land. This destruction caused by feral pigs in Australia's agriculture is estimated to cost over $100 million a year. Turtle nests are another target to feral pigs, which have preyed upon 90% of the nests along the coast in the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area. It is now feared that these amphibians will become regionally extinct due to these pests. Flinders Island, northeast of Tasmania's mainland, is also home to feral pigs. The impact from the pigs include erosion through their digging patterns, a loss of regenerating forest plants, and at least 30 native plant and animal species are threatened because of their selective eating habits. Whilst the damage caused by these pests is quite extensive, there are programs in place for the control of their abundance. However, not all of them are completely effective. One of the most common approaches is the use of the poison compound 1080, although there is concern about the effect this poison may have on non-target animals. Ground shooting is another popular method for the harvesting of feral pigs. The pigs are often located through the use of hunting dogs and then shot, but many are also live trapped before being shot. These carcasses will then go through a post-mortem inspection before being processed and exported as Australian wild pig to mainly European countries for consumption. However, this method is not considered to be highly effective because of the labour involved from the use of dogs and it also may disperse the feral pigs and cause unnecessary stress. Fencing can offer successful pig control, but pig-proof fences must be constructed before the pigs become a problem in a particular area. Once they begin to prey on lambs and feed on grain in a paddock, fencing may be ineffective. Simple methods such as reporting feral pig sightings and preventing their release into the wild can help to prevent their increase in abundance. 